Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I'm so happy to be here. It's a Saturday, uh, Saturday afternoon. We're just chilling. The sun is bright. It's too hot outside, but you know, that's okay. Hey, what's up, Happy Math? Good to see you. Um, we are about to hop into the Team Aqua's hideout. Um, it has been so, so long. Thank you for being here. Um, it's been so long. We have a melodic now. I had to fish for this thing. We had to feed it a bunch of poke blocks. Um, it was crazy. And now we got a decent little move set on it. Mm, love it. Oh, I get, we'll just do a nice little team recap here. We have Harry the Beautiful Melodic. Um, we have uh, Piccolo the Grovile, getting close to evolving, which is really nice. What's up, Brody? Um, good to see ya. Um, we've got Ron the Laron with the newly learned strength to help us get through some stuff. We've got Guzzle the Torkoal, who has been a superstar this entire time. Got that flamethrower. Uh, James the Chimeco, another new addition who I love and adore. And then finally, Blaine the Swablu, who I believe is going to evolve next level. So I am psyched about that. Um, but now we are actually going to hop into this secret hideout. Um, yes, hello, thank you. They, they, they both say hello, Harry and James. They both say hello, thank you, Happy Math. Um, so we always have this guy, and he is just going around in a circle, and we're just following him. And he is never gonna know that we were here. How crazy. Um, yeah, I always just avoid this guy. I guess we could run into him if we wanted to. Um, but I don't think I want to. I never, I never do, usually. Um, let's see, what's down here? Oh yeah, nothing's down here. I thought I saw like a little item. Um, okay, so this guy, we're gonna wait for him to pass because I don't know where he is. Maybe. Where is he? There he is. Just, <laughs> just runs right by me. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, so we're not gonna fight this guy, uh, but we're probably gonna fight most of the grunts in here. Um, luckily, I know where all these warp panels go already. So now, let me see. This goes to this max elixir. Yet this, um, maybe he doesn't want to fight me. I actually don't know if he fights you. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe my whole life has been a lie. I've had a couple of those moments playing through Emerald um, this time around. Um, let's go ahead and fight this lady. Gotta make sure I stay hydrated on a day like today. But it's been a beautiful start to our day. We went to a farmer's market in town. It was delightful. We got some hot sauce from a local vendor. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so she'll have Torkoal, but then also Slugma. Oh, that's really interesting. I didn't know that, Brody. Um, she runs two fire types. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, all she's got is the Carvana. All right. So we're gonna hop over here. I'm pretty sure this warp panel is what I'm thinking of. Okay, so, um, let me make sure before I do this, I know where I'm going. Um, and that leads back there. And that leads there. Okay. All right. So, I believe I'm about to show where you get the Master Ball in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. So if you go here, that's going to lead you right back there. That takes you down, but then you got to go around town right there. And here, you make it to what appears to be like the boss's quarters. Um, those two Pokeballs off to the right are both Voltorb, but that is a Nugget, and this is a Master Ball. Um, this is the only game, the Generation 3 games, I'm pretty sure, that doesn't gift you a Master Ball. You have to find it. It's very, very interesting. Um, also, just to make sure I'm correct, yes, that is a Voltorb. Um, she replaced Torkoal with Slugma. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, oh, I said a Voltorb. It's an Electrode, excuse me. Oh, and I can't escape. Is it going to blow up on me? Don't blow up on me. Don't blow up on me. Don't kill me either. Dang it. Guys, I shouldn't have done this. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I got to heal up Harry. That's okay. Um, yes, I don't have any paralyzed heals. I'm playing, uh, I'm playing a different game right now, as well as Emerald here on stream, so I am confused as to what items I have. So that's how you get that Master Ball. And that's, you, you definitely want to make sure you go on this little detour in the Aqua Hideout with all these, with this, these several rows of warp panels. But that one is also like, you can pretty easily just kind of fumble your way through that um, if you don't know where you're going. I just always remember it because I've played through these games so many times. And I had the official strategy guide for, specifically for Ruby and Sapphire. Because a core memory I have is one day when I was young, I just looked at my mom fully expecting her to say no, and I just say, Mom, I want to go to the store, I want to get a new Game Boy Advance SP, and I want to get the new Pokemon game. And she was literally just like, yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> and she got it for me. It was amazing. One of the greatest days of my life. Uh, um, let's see. Oh, did you name Fudge Cake too? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh... We might be able, we might be able to rename someone. Brody, do you want to do you want to name Chimeco? I can go rename Chimeco if you want. I I will give that to you. Um, that is so funny. That hits both, and that's fine. Ah, critical hit on Piccolo. That's the worst. Um, let's see. Then we've got Surf here. Wow, Carvana is incredibly frail, because that was just a regular old Surf, and that did half of its HP. It was not even effective. Um, and then I get the rough skin, of course. I'm going to have to get some more potions soon. Um, thanks for being here with me today, folks. This is super fun. Um, let's see. Um, if you want to join the Discord, I have a little Discord invite link down below. Um, let's see. <laughs> One day you'll get revenge. I understand. That's fair. I have I have wronged you greatly. Um, let's see. All right, Piccolo's at 34 now. Um, but like I have said before, we are getting ready for the seventh gym here. So we are going to need... I'm going to fight you. Um, we're going to need to get some levels. We're probably going to want the squad to be close to level 40 for the seventh gym. Uh, because all of their Pokemon are... Little Guy the Oddish, that's who it was. Um... All of the Pokemon in the seventh gym are around level 40. I do love how Twister can flinch. That is that is very nice. That's a nice little bit of coverage for Harry. Um, lovely. Boss, is this good enough? No. Um, I'm pretty sure... Okay, one of these goes somewhere useful, and one of them goes somewhere not as useful. I think that's the one I wanted. But this one, I think, leads me to an item. Yes, right across the way here. We have a Nest Ball. A Nest Ball isn't particularly useful, because I think it only catches Pokemon that are weaker. Um, and I guess if that's something you really want to do, you can. It's not something I usually do. You can also walk right by this guy if you want to, which is so interesting. They're very uh, not alert, these guards, but I'm going to fight them anyway. Um... One Surf should take care of the Zubat. Zubat's quite weak. Lovely. Harry is so good. Like, it takes so much work to get to Melodic. <laughs> My mission was just to hold you up. That's what they all say. Um, it takes so much work to get to Melodic, but um, once you do, it is a powerful, 
powerful beast. <laughs> you hear too much water and not enough water is not enough. That's so funny. Um, <laughs> I know. I don't, I don't remember why we named this Melodic Harry. I know somebody, I think somebody in the chat named the Feebass that we caught Harry. It's just funny. Um, let's see. We have a lot of water coming up. We'll use Guzzle in this here uh, um, double battle. Again, one of the great things about Emerald, when you have a Pokemon that's just not quite that strong, um, you can always level it up a little bit in double battles. And it's not that Guzzle's not strong, it's just the water-type Team Aqua is just not going to be his best matchup, man. It's just how it is. There we go. Lovely. Alright. Now, okay, this is where uh, we get to the end. I love how the guy just like, oh, <laughs> oh no, he just kind of turns around. <laughs> um, but now he's got the submarine behind him, and he is kind of like the boss grunt of the aqua hideout here. So he's gonna be a little bit stronger than our other counterparts. As you can see, he's a lot more muscular. <laughs> so you know he's better. And his name's just Matt. Aqua Admin Matt. Nothing crazy. Double Battles and Emerald. Yes, Happy Math. They're wonderful. Um, absolutely. And even though Harry is a few levels below, we're gonna be we're gonna be a-okay. Scary face missed anyway. Come on now. Oh, does he have super potions as well? Yes. Um, yes. Um, in the seventh gym, they have such a good combination um, because they have a Zatu and a Clay Doll, and that Clay Doll is ripping off earthquakes while it can't hit the Zatu because it's flying type. Um, Golbat. Um, I'll just let Harry stay in. Get all the experience here. We'll see if we can stay on our blizzard streak. I genuinely don't think I've missed a blizzard. <laughs> um, since we have been using it on Harry. Oh, not quite the one shot. Oh, I hate Confuse Ray. Guys, I hate, 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 hate being confused so much. I hate it. See? Come on. Okay, good. Thank you. Harry has a strong constitution. Um, all right. But of course, so I lost too. Of course, this guy's like, I was just trying to hold you up. And as you can see, the submarine gets away. Oh no, he's gone on his way to some cave under the sea. Um, this is actually interesting because in Emerald, Team Aqua is the one diving under the sea. Um, but in Ruby, where Magma is the only team you fight against, they actually share this same hideout. And there in Ruby, Groudon is actually in that undersea cavern as well. But in Emerald, they split up the two uh, box legendaries. Let's see. And then this kind of takes us right back to the beginning, and there's our friend just running around in circles. You've been bamboozled, sir. All right. Uh, lovely. So now, now that we have completed the Aqua Hideout, as you can see, the Barricade of Whalmer is now gone, and we can make our way to the next city, which I'm very excited about. Um, Moss Deep City, it's called. Um, but I feel like I want to do a few things first. So I'm just going to fly over to the Pokemon Center here. Um, I know that there are some trainers that we can fight, um, in quite a few places. Um, there is the route south of Mount Pyre where we can do some trainers. I might save that for another time. Um, but I do want to go through Mount Pyre itself. Um, because there are a lot of trainers on the inside. We've only seen the outside, like when we were looking for um, Chimeco and whatnot. But on the inside, we've got a ton of trainers that we can fight. 
And there is also a super great TM that we're probably going to use later for a super secret reason. Got this funeral music as well. This was the same music that was in New Mauville. It's a lot more appropriate here. Um, but yeah, this is a lot like Pokemon Tower. Um, as you can see, we got tons of trainers we can fight. Uh... Sped up. And that's normal now. <laughs> um, oh, yes. Um, very funny. All right, so we got a couple, we got several trainers to work our way through here. Yeah, because we got we got to keep grinding, got to keep on the grind. Um, but yeah, like I said, there are tons of trainers south of Mount Pyre here that we can go through um, at another time. And like I said, there are tons of tons and tons of trainers on the water routes um, that we have access to. Um, there was that famous IGN. Uh, review of the remakes of these games where they're just like there's too much water and once you get to kind of like the end game of emerald which is kind of where we're getting to like the 7 8th gym e everything takes place in the sea um and the place that this um region is based off of in japan is like very tropical very like ocean heavy um let's see you know what? You are totally right, Brody. Brody's talking about Mudkip being, like, the strongest starter for um, the Gen 3 games, and he is totally right. Mudkip is so much better um, than uh, Blaziken and Trico. And, I mean, you know, they all have their strengths, but Mudkip, the fact that it gets the ground type is just so good and useful. Um, especially when you get to that electric gym, we really struggled there. That was like our toughest fight. <laughs> um, and if we didn't get some like good luck and a bunch of potions, we would have, you know, been there for a long time. Um, we're actually going to double up into the main metric so it doesn't kill Harry. Um, we should be fine with the flamethrower going into it. Ah, the white smoke. Good job, Guzzle. Guzzle, Guzzle strikes again. Guzzle is just a beast, man. Can't be stopped. Uh, all right. Um, one Surf should take care of it, yes. Um, fun fact about Surf, in a double battle like that, it actually splits the damage between the two Pokemon. Because as you can see, Surf hadn't done half damage on the Delcaddy yet, but now that Delcaddy was the only Pokemon on the field, it does more damage. Uh, let's see. Doot, doot. There we go. We defeated Dez and Luke, the young couple. Love is not enough to defeat me. Let's see. Guzzle is the MVP of the team. Guzzle was the reason we beat Flannery, was the reason we beat Norman. It was great. Um, I, that's so true, Brody. Um, I was just talking about the third gym, and there's Mayonetric immediately. Um, all right, we'll get Harry and Ron some experience. Oh, yes. There are holes in the ground here and there. Um, so yeah, falling through those holes in the ground is actually going to help us get the prize of Mount Pyre. Uh, I want a double battle. Great. I believe this is a breeder, so she's going to have a lot of Pokemon. Yes, it is. It's a six Pokemon battle. Ah, Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet can be very tricky. You want to make sure that you can kill it in one turn. Um, because it could really catch you with a counter or a mirror coat. I'm pretty positive this iron tail will knock it out. Um, and I sure hope it does. <laughs> because if not, it could really mess us up with a counter or a mirror coat. Okay, good. We're good. Um, and it actually has the ability shadow tag, so you can't uh, swap out. Wobbuffet's a very tricky Pokemon and can really get you. If you're not paying attention. Um, ah, dang it. I attacked the wrong Pokemon. Let's see. Why are there holes? I, I don't, you know what? That's a great point, Brody, because I know that this is like a creepy place, but it is just like 
in the Pokemon world, it's just a regular old graveyard. Graveyard. You'd think it would be upkept a little bit better, but I guess not. Um, there we go. Kadabra is such a cool Pokemon. It is such a classic. Oh, Wobbuffet in the anime. Yes, Jesse had her Wobbuffet, and he was just the big goof. Ah, oh, Wobbuffet was delightful. Um, I have not seen very much of the anime, relatively. Um, I only watched... Um, I watched through the original, like, through the Indigo League. Um, and I watched a little bit into Johto here and there. I think I mentioned this before, but there is specifically a Johto episode where Ash's Heracross fights this dude, Scizor, and it's just the coolest thing in the entire world. It's so awesome. It was such a great battle. Um, ooh, I want to fight you, man. Let me fight you, dude. Come on. I think this guy has a Ralts or two. Yes, he does. Um, lovely. I think a Twister will probably do it. Ralts is... Oh, not quite. Oh, and no Psychic. Dang. Luckily, Ralts is just very weak for this point of the game. And I won't underestimate it again. I'll just use my Surfs. But yeah, whenever I think of the Pokemon anime, I think of that Heracross Scizor battle. Um, and actually, uh, the anime is the reason that Kingler is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Uh, because when Ash goes to the Pokemon League... And he uses Krabby for the first time, and then it immediately evolves, and it's like a mainstay on his Pokemon League team. Oh, it's so cool. Um, oh, yeah. Um, there aren't a ton of Pokemon that have the super effective moves against Mudkip. You're absolutely right. Um, let's see. Uh, we'll just keep using Harry. Harry's almost caught up with the rest of the squad, which I love. Um... But yeah, Kingler in those Pokemon League episodes of the anime, I like the first battle. It, it like the first battle it evolves. It uses Hyper Beam out of its claw. It's so cool. Oh, that was so great. I loved it very much. Um, but let's see. Let's keep going. Are there any double battles left? I don't think so. It was amazing. Happy. Yes, it was. Um, Let's see if Blaine can take out this um, black belt here because I really want us to get to level 35 so we can finally evolve Blaine. Blaine and Piccolo, I think, are our last um, members of the squad that need to evolve, right? Oh, no, Ron does too. Um, okay, good. Let's see. Yeah, Brody, you are so right. Um, in that fight with Kingler, like, like literally he's never ever used this Pokemon in battle before and it knows like seven moves and they're all awesome. It knows Hyper Beam. How does it know Hyper Beam? You've never used this thing. Um, okay. Um, are there more battles? I feel like there is one more double battle. Yes, there is. I was right. All right, I think this is where Blaine's gonna evolve, baby. Let's do it. Whew, there we go. Gotta time that up correctly or else they'll spin away. Ah, another Wobbuffet. I must be careful. Um, I'm gonna try putting the Wobbuffet to sleep, actually. Oh, Blizzard hits them both. I actually didn't realize that. Um. Oh, got the freeze on the save line. Oh, that's nice. Okay, good. Um, I'm still going to use Sing on you because I'm still afraid. There we go. Um, we're going to use Fly. Okay, great. Nice critical hit. All right, I think Wobbuffet is in the bag now, because now Surf will do more damage. Lovely. Um, Wobbuffet is a terrible Pokemon to fight if you're doing a Nuzlocke. It can really, really mess you up if you uh, attack it at the wrong time. Wow, I cannot believe Blaine did not evolve there. It must be, like, 
freaking two experience away. Hold on, let me see how much experience Blaine needs to evolve. 186! That is nothing. Come on. I'll just fight a wild Pokemon in here once I repel. Goes away. Okay, so this is actually like one of the big reasons we came here because this is the TM for Shadow Ball here at the top of Mount Pyre. Very, very good TM. And like a lot of the TMs we've been collecting in this game, we're not going to use it because uh, we have a super secret reason to use it later. And we can fall through these holes to get through so to get to some of these secret areas here um, to get more of the items in this uh, place. Mount Pyre. <laughs> All right, so now I want to just destroy this Shuppet so Blaine can finally evolve. Okay. Z Z Ziggy can learn it. <laughs> he can, it's true. Ah, uh, finally time. My weak little, little Swablu will become a dragon. Perfection. Yes, I love this sprite of Altaria as well. Yes, amazing. Um, apparently Altar Altaria is based on like a Chinese cloud dragon bird thing, which is why it becomes a dragon type. And it's gonna learn dragon breath immediately. Love to see it. Um, we'll get rid of takedown because I hate takedown. And it's also no longer normal type. Great. So here's more items. Um, a lax incense, I believe that makes the opponent's moves hit less, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. I can actually check right now. Lax incense, yeah, slightly lowers the foe's accuracy. I'll give it to a Pokemon. Um, let's give it to, let's go to James. I love that part of this song. Um, so yeah, we can keep going and keep falling down through these holes to collect more items. And this is actually going to be great for Harry to hold because it's a sea incense that'll power up his water type attacks. That's excellent. Um, oh, what's up, Cryptechnical? Um, thank you for being here. Oh my gosh, it's great that you were able to catch a live. I really appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Um, I'm glad that you were kind of you were able to move over from YouTube. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm really happy with, uh, everyone that has been able to stop over and discover, um, what I'm doing here through YouTube. It's, it's really nice to be able to split into both platforms. Um, <laughs> Cloud would have used it better. Hey, you know what? Um, well, this is great. We got our our Altaria, we got some new items that we're loving. Um, Piccolo's gonna evolve real soon. Let's make our way. Oh, actually, I wanna go stop at the old Fortressy first. Um, Cause I wanna pick up some items. Buy a couple. Super potions, hyper potions, super repels. Um, I always like to do the super repels because you can get um, a better dollar per step value with the Super Repel. Um, get some Hypers, just a handful of those. Sorry. Get a handful of Supers. Not just two, I wanted more than that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, get some Revives. Get some Super Repels. Eleven, sure. Um... <laughs> no, look in the PC. Uh, let's sell these nuggets. Uh, we can use that later. Oh, I'm actually going to put the Thunderstone in the PC. Because we are not using that. Sorry, just got a little bit of a PC business going. I'm gonna go ahead and save that PP Max because we're not really gonna use that right now. Um, black glasses might come in handy. So these are some of our 
con comrades that we have not used along the way. We have Little Guy, we got Little Leap, Vol <laughs> Magneton, the Voltor, which is hilarious. Oh, um, Mystic Water actually would have powered our water attacks too. Here are uh, a couple of the Feebas that we caught that weren't the correct nature. Um, we've got Cloud the Wingle, I know Brody, Steven the Kecleon. Oh yeah, we caught this Rhyhorn in the Safari Zone. I never think to use Rhyhorn in Emerald. Um, <laughs> I kidnapped your baby. Your Ziggy, sorry. Fudge cake, sorry. Um, let's see. But yeah, I feel like one of these playthroughs, I should use a bunch of Safari Zone Pokemon. I never remember. You can use Giraffe Rig in a playthrough of Pokemon Emerald. That's delightful. I never think about that. Um, so let's see. We are going to pop over to Lily Cove because we have to cross Route 124 to get to Moss Deep City, as you can see on our little map here. Um, do, do. I always find it weird that to get to the sea here, you gotta hop down these ledges and get to get to this staircase. Um, oh, well, that's fine, because we're about to pop another one. Um... Let's see. Super Repel. And yeah, we'll start with James. That's fine. The team is starting to look very even. We got 34s across the board for the most part. Let's make our way. We can fight some trainers along the way. Uh, that is the thing about this game and why it can be tough to train Blaziken kind of like later in the game. Um, because you have... Uh, all of these trainers that are in the water and they are all using water type pokemon so it can be kind of annoying to try to train blaziken at times i hate that gyarados avoided the attack because that's what i really was trying to hit there oh boy okay that did nothing love to see it um i'm actually going to use yawn on the gyarados because that could get scary um i'll get you your child support money i promise brody don't worry um, yeah, I always forgot about this Gyarados fellow. Um, let's see. I'll use Confusion here, and I'm actually gonna give James a little heal on Melodic's turn, because it's not really doing much. But this Leer from Gyarados is letting the, uh, physical attacks from Meryl do a little bit more damage. And we'll use another Blizzard. Hopefully I can actually hit the Gyarados this time. There we go. Um, yeah, my squad doesn't have an electric attack. I think I can teach James um, Shockwave if I want to. Um, we'll see. It hasn't been super pertinent so far. And we do have Piccolo that can really use some nice grass attacks against a lot of the water Pokemon. But against Gyarados specifically, it could really come in handy. Um... Cindy. Um, okay, so once we get into this route, as you can see, there's this little dark spot. This is a dive spot. We can't quite do it yet, but specifically on this route, we can do some diving to collect some rare items, which is really, really cool. And there's going to be a lot of stuff that we do both in the narrative and both like extracurricular that you can do with the dive mechanic in this game. That's super sick. Very excited to show you that. Um, um, I'm going to try to fight all of these swimmers out here before we get to Moss Deep Sea. Can Cloud learn Shockwave by TM, Brody? Are you telling the truth? Can a Wingle learn Shockwave? Um, I'm pretty sure Ziggy could, though, <laughs> which is funny. Um... There we go, James. Nice. Oh, wow. Speaking of Cloud. Um, we'll use Ron. Ron's Steel type is actually going to be really nice against the Psychic Gem that we have coming up. It will not be good against Claydol. Uh, oh, boy. I was really hoping that would do it in one hit. Um, <laughs> F Ziggy. Wow, you really abandoned Ziggy. You abandoned Ziggy like I did. Um, let's see. 
I know... Yes, over here, this uh, girl and her little brother are always a little double battle I like to do. Let's, yeah, let's get Piccolo in here. That's going to help this go a little better with the water types. <laughs> Chin Chow is a delightful Pokemon. Um, a nice Gen 2. Um... In Gen 2, people don't usually think to use it because you have to catch it with a fishing rod. Or at least I don't think to use it. Um, but it's just so great. Lantern is delightful. Electric water is a great typing. It's just great. Great all around, man. <laughs> what have I become? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right. Ah, yes. I always remember they give you your number two. They're just kind of in this little alcove over here. So let's pop over here. Do, 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 do. Lovely Whalmer. Yeah, if I was unsuccessful or got too frustrated in finding Feebas, we were going to use a Whalmer in this playthrough. Because um, I don't usually use Whalmer or Whalord. Um, I mean, I definitely don't use the other two, or Melodic, rather. Um, we be vibing, it's true. Just kind of slashing our way through these through these swimmers. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I guess Tentacool has a specifically good special defense stat, so it's going to be able to tank some Leaf Blades. Um, it's not until later generations that Leaf Blade becomes an actual physical attack. Um, we'll stick with Piccolo, because Piccolo's going to have um, good matchups against most of these swimmers, and it'll be really nice for him to evolve um, before we challenge the gym. That's going to help us a lot, actually. Uh, we don't really need agility. We're already plenty fast. All right. So let me pop my repel again. Lovely. Um, I think I was mentioning diving for items. Um, nope, not here. Over here, where the house is. Where this house is, this guy is looking for these rare items called shards. Um, and if you give him the shards, he will give you the corresponding um, evolution stone. So if you give him a red shard, um, he'll give you a fire stone. When you give him the yellow shard, he'll give you a thunderstone. Green, Leaf Stone, uh, Blue, Water Stone. It's really cool. Um, and that's probably like the most surefire way to get stones in this game. I know the Thunderstone we did find in New Mauville, but... Um, uh, but yeah. Alright. Um, this guy... Does he try to teach you a move? Ah, yes. He tries to teach you Dynamic Punch. Um, does, does he also try to teach you a move? Uh, no. Um, but yeah, I always forget that guy tries to teach you Dynamic Punch. And I don't know if any of our Pokemon can learn it. Um, I know we don't have any fighting types. Subtile might be, might be able to. Um, after this, are we doing Fire Red, Leaf Green, or Platinum? That's a great question. Um, uh, I might leave that up to your imagination, at least for now. Because we still got plenty more Emerald to get through. Um, but I actually do have a nice little one-two punch planned um, for the next uh, Pokemon game that we play here. Um, I'll give you a hint. There are two games that like go together, but maybe aren't what you're thinking. Um, so let's see. Once we get here to Moss Deep City, um, I'm pretty sure... Ooh, this guy gives us a King's Rock, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's great. Um, so a King's Rock is a great item. Um, it's in, It was in Gen 2. I believe it was in the Slowpoke well. When you give it to a Pokemon, it can help their moves uh, cause a flinch, which is nice. I'll give that to Blaine for now. Um, <laughs> Pokemon Ping Pong. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> so this is actually Steven's little house. Um, and he, here he's got his rock collection. Um, more rocks. 
and we can actually stop over here at Steven's house and he'll give us something nice later. Um, and more Moss Deep City stuff. We're just running around. I like how it's this nice little spot on an island. Um, a netball is nice. It has a higher catch rate. Oh, here's Scott. Hey, Scott. What does he say? Ah, people are about going a warning letter in the Space Center. Ooh, interesting. Um, Pokemon XD, that's a sick game. I would love to play that at some point. Um, so when you get up to this house on the ledge here, this is actually where you get the Super Rod in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. So if you're really looking for some of those Super Pokemon, you can get the Super Rod here. Let's see. Um, so what we want to do is here is the Space Center. And this is based on kind of like the real Space Center in Japan, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we're going to have something to do there later. Uh, Scott kind of alluded to it there. But first, we're going to start taking out some of the trainers in this here gym. Uh, let's see. Um, but yeah, Brody, XD is not what I have planned next, but I do I do genuinely want to play Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness. Those games are those games are sick. Um, oh yeah, Deoxys. Um, so yeah, here we have these switches in the Moss Deep uh, gym, and we can fight all these fighting trainers. Not fighting trainers, sorry. All these psychic trainers, the opposite. Um, and a lot of them become double battles like this. Like you step on the switch and then they both like collide to you. Uh, let's see. Iron tail you and we'll double edge you. Great. Right. Um, so yeah, we just, we just ripping through more trainers here. Um, it's likely that once we get through all the trainers here in the Moss Deep Gym, we're going to still have to work our way through some trainers outside of the gym because we still got to be more powerful. Um, there we go, James. Um, but in Emerald, the Moss Deep Gym is completely different because you have these warp panels here. Um, but in the original Ruby and Sapphire, it's all one big room and it features more like switches that like take you on a track that like move you around the gym. Um, the gym puzzle is completely different in this game. That has these little switches that move the trainers around. Um, let's see, and as you can see, I'm gonna move this guy around to get him right there so we can double battle. Du, 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 du. It's funny, I actually played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for the first time. Um, not too long ago. I actually didn't finish it. Um, it was really fun. It wasn't like... It wasn't super for me, kind of like the dungeon crawler type thing. Um, I would be interested in maybe trying uh, Mystery Dungeon DX that they made for the Switch. Maybe some like quality of life stuff there. Um, but... Oh, uh, what's up, Arena? I'm finally glad that you're catching a stream too. Thank you for stopping in. I, I always appreciate it. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we were just talking about what we were going to play next, um, and I am not sure exactly, but I do got something planned, and I'm going to, I'm going to keep it under wraps, because I like to have little surprises here and there. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, and we're just making our way through the Moss Deep City Gym here. Our squad is pretty much set now, thankfully. Um... So we are just worrying about getting them all leveled up um, and ready to fight Tate and Liza, which um, I love in this game. The gym leaders are actually like psychic twins that kind of like read each other's minds, and that works perfectly for the double battle that they have set up. And I just, I cannot stress to you enough how much harder the gym battle is in this game than in Ruby and Sapphire. It is so much more difficult in this game. <laughs> um, yes, we're actually going to go here. 
<laughs> you can't handle surprises. That's funny. Um, wow, I feel like we put items on almost all of our team um, this stream. Uh, it's been great. Because we finally have the items that we need. Ah, uh, yes, here's that scary Wobbuffet once again. I'm actually just going to use a double or a mud slap on it. Um, yeah, just to make this less scary. Just weaken it a little bit so that way if it uses counter or something, it's not going to hurt too bad. Ooh, we got the flinch. Lovely. Um, I'm going to go for the iron tail now. I'm just going for it, you know. And Cadabra's starting to use the recover. Oh, no. Don't use counter. Oh, boy. Yep. Yep. It happened. It happened. I was afraid of that. That's what always happened. You're playing Emerald for the first time? Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. I'm so happy to hear that. Oh, uh, that's like... When I started playing... Um here on Twitch, I really was hoping that what I did, and I'm not saying that's what's happening with you, <laughs> you might have just wanted to play it on your own, but I was really hoping that whatever I did would, like, inspire people to kind of, like, revisit the old, um, Pokemon games. Um, but let's see. Oh, nice! Uh, you did a random Nuzlocke on Alpha Sapphire, that's cool. Um... Oh, wow, it hurt a lot, actually. Finally, the Wobbuffet's gone. Um, Pokemon Stadium. Oh, wow, and it got me with a Destiny Bond, too. Dang it all, man. Wobbuffet killed me on that one. Um, okay, so I gotta go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. Um, yes, I know the... I played Pokemon Stadium a little bit as a kid. I know a lot of people specifically love the mini games. I think that's in Pokemon Stadium too. Um, and yeah, I know that like it can be really tough fighting with the rental Pokemon, um, and some of the some of the battles in Stadium are just like ridiculously hard. Um, Pokemon Coliseum actually has. Um, some very difficult fights in it. Um, okay, so now we can finally, we can make our way here. Great. And I'm gonna make sure this is a double battle. Lovely. Yeah, we'll use these two. Um, you're playing catch up with the games. You had original blue, silver, and yellow. Oh, but didn't play another main game until Violet. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, I'm really jealous of that um, journey that you're on, Arena. Um, just because I would love to like experience these games for the first time again. Um, but that's so that's so awesome. I'm I'm really happy that you're getting to do that. Um, to me, my personal favorite is Crystal. We played that last time. Um, I, I grew up with Gen 2, so, uh, Crystal and Silver are, like, my holy grail. Um, but I have said that I think Emerald might be the best game. I, I think, it's obviously arguable, but, uh, I think Emerald definitely has a case, um, at being the best game. Um... Oh, why can't we battle them one at a time? Oh, we totally can, Brody. I just like to do double battles, honestly. Um, that's really the only reason. We can totally battle them one at a time. But, uh... Arena, what did you think of Violet? Because I love Scarlet and Violet. I have actually come to really appreciate it. I know it was kind of mixed. People don't like the way they run, which I, de I definitely get. They don't run super smoothly. Um, so for this gym, you always got to remember to go down here and do this little switch, or you're gonna have a dead end, so I gotta do that. Um, let's see... Oh, your first time watching me was when we beat Claire! Oh, that's so great! Um, yeah, Claire's amazing. I freaking love Claire. Um, alright, so now we can make our way to what is the last room of trainers. Um, and I'm actually gonna get Piccolo up here first, because I would love to see him um, evolve. 
Um, you thoroughly enjoyed it. Walking Wake is your favorite Paradox Pokemon. Yes, that's a great choice. Um, as a Pokemon Crystal fan, I obviously love Suicune and Walking Wake. Um, my favorite Paradox? The Paradoxes are interesting. I like them, but I don't know if I, like, love too many of them. Um, I really like Slitherwing. I think Slitherwing's cool, like a cool concept. Um, Sandy Shocks makes me laugh. I really like Sandy Shocks. Um, having Violet, I've come to like the, uh, whatchamacallit, the future Pokemon quite a bit more. I really like, really like Iron Crown. I actually don't like the, those original legendaries from Generation 5 very much, but I actually prefer the, like, Cyborg versions. Um, uh, tell my wife I said that. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, the names are, the names of the Paradox Pokemon are interesting because, like, I get that people don't like them. It does kind of make sense that they're named like... They're named like code names, basically. So I do get that concept, but yeah, I, I get how they can be kind of just like weird and cumbersome and kind of like stick out of place when it comes to other Pokemon names, you know? Oh, when I said I loved Claire. Oh, I see you now, Brody. Yeah, I mean, Claire's hot, man. She's a, she's a 10. Um... She'd understand, my wife. Um, all right, so now we gotta go in here. And I'm hoping, I actually don't know if Piccolo's gonna grow. Uh, that's okay. I'll, oopsie. There we go. Um, I'll just go fight a random trainer outside the gym um, so we can uh, evolve Grovile. Um, but yeah, love Scarlet and Violet. Um, Scarlet and Violet are probably, I, for me, I consider the first four generations to be like perfect. Not perfect, but like I love them so much and they are like the classic golden era for me. Um, and anything after gen four, I consider not modern, but kind of like the next era. Um, and Scarlet and Violet is definitely one of my favorites of, like, the second era of Pokemon. Um, <laughs> yes, um, Grovile famously loses his, like, long leaf on his head when he evolves. Um, there we go. I wanted to get Harry to level 35. I figured he was close. Um, Rain Dance. That could come in handy, but I'm gonna hold off. I know... Uh, I know we can get a TM for that. And if we really want to learn it, we can go to the move relearner. Um, but yeah, my... Because I think of gens 1 through 4 as the first era, 5 through 9 as the second era. Um, and my favorite games of the second era, 1 is Violet, and 1 is an extremely hot take. I love the original Sun and Moon. I know people aren't like super into those. They hate the tutorial section of it. But I freaking love the original Sun and Moon. Not Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon as much, because even though they kind of have, like, like the awesome Ultra Necrozma thing, more Pokemon selection, just the story of the original Sun and Moon is so great. Um, okay. They killed Misty in the anime. Oh no! I didn't know that! <laughs> Maybe I don't like it. Um, okay, so now that we did that little green switch earlier, we can get to the gym leader's room. This is Tate and Liza. We're actually not going to fight them right this very second, because I want to evolve Sceptile. Or I want to evolve Grovile into Sceptile first. Um, and there are actually a couple trainers north of the city um, where we can do that. Um... Oh, yes, yes. You're doing your first playthrough of X. Um, X and Y, I don't like as much because I find them to be kind of, like, very easy. Um, but, I mean, I mean, I like all Pokemon games. I, I've played them all. I've played them all multiple times. I, I enjoy all of them. Mega Evolution is sick. I will definitely, I will definitely give you that. I really enjoy Mega Evolution as well. 
I mean, that's one of the cool things about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is that you um, get to use Mega Evolution in the Hoenn region. Ah, <laughs> yes, that's when they get rid of Misty and Brock. I see, I see. Um, that's funny. Um, fun fact, I know people really love Generation 5, specifically. I actually don't like it really much at all. I understand why people do and why it is good. Um, but that was just really at a time in my Pokemon fandom. Oh, let's use Blaine here against Machoke. Really show him off. Um... That was a time in my fandom where I was in, I was like late high school. I didn't like the designs. I was just like, I don't know, should I grow out of this? And I certainly did not, as you can see. Um, and it's just so much fun. I just love playing these games, man. Um, oh, wow, you got wrecked by the first uh, bug gym. That's funny. Um, flying types. My guess is you have a Fletchling. I like Fletchling. Um, it's a cool Pokemon. Um, let's see. Register me at your Pokenab. I'll tell you something good. Oopsie. No. There we go. Um, we're gonna pop in here. Oh, I can show you something else when we get up here. Let's fight these trainers first. Um... Oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, I... I really love some of the designs in Gen 5, um, but some of them I really, really didn't like. Like, um, I hate Timber, Girder, and Conkledur. I think they're just, just, just horrible. <laughs> um, just so horrendous. Um, and like, I didn't love the ice cream Pokemon. I've come to appreciate them a little more now. There's just something about, like, also the art style and art direction of those games that just doesn't vibe with me. Um, but I know they're popular. I'm not dumping on them. Let's see. Oh, uh, you had a Fletching and a Pidgey at the time. Yeah, I remember using a Pidgey in X and Y. Oh, I'm really glad that missed. Uh, let's just use a quick attack. Um, do, 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 do. Um, what other Pokemon do you have in your X playthrough? I love Xerneas. Xerneas is such a beautiful Pokemon. Um, but here, this is an interesting spot. This is Shoal Cave, and it's low tide right now, so I might actually show you something interesting while we're here. Um, this guy wants you to get Shoal Salt and Shoal Shells. Very hard to say. Um, and if you do both, he will make you an item called a Shell Bell. However... Um, this place changes with the tide, so right now it's low tide, and during low tide you can collect the shoal salts, but during high tide you can collect the shoal shells. So you actually have to come back a couple different times to do all the stuff here, which is really cool. Um, but deep in, I don't have this cave memorized actually, um, but deep in this cave, during low tide like it is right now, um, you can find a secret room. And it's a really cool spot because you can catch this rare Pokemon called Snow Runt. And you can only do that when it's in low tide. I'm excited to show this off. Um, it's kind of fortunate. And so here's, here's the Shoal Salt that he was, uh, he was talking about. Um, I don't know if we'll do the Shell Bell or not, but it's fun while we're here to collect some of them. Um, Alright. And we're just scooting around town here. Um, okay, nothing there. Ah, yes, we have this fighting trainer here. I'll go ahead and fight him if I can. Oh, no, he's not even trying to. Oh, he gives you the focus band! That's great! I'll give that to a Pokemon. I think, uh, I think Ron is our last Pokemon that needs an item. Oh, an X, you just earned your third badge. Awesome. Um... So, I think this is the secret room. Oh, not quite. I keep speaking too soon. So we can keep working our way through here. Um... Where is the secret room? In Shoal Cave here. I might have to... 
Oh, I might have to move that strength rock. That might be it. Let's go over here. That was a place that we walked in earlier. Yes, let me move this. Uh, what was your starter in X Arena? I my first starter was Froki, which I loved. And here is our secret room. Um, once you get to the bottom of Shoal Cave, oh, love our reflection on the ice. Um, it will take you to this secret ice room, and this is the only spot in Hoenn where you can catch the Pokemon um, Snow Runt. And let's see, how do I? How do I get to you? Ah, this is how I get to you. There we go. Um, and I know one of these items. I will run into a Pokemon just so we can see Snow Run. Never Melt Ice is actually really nice. Um, we could give that to Melodic to power up its Blizzard. Um, and ah, here we have Sveal, which is a super cute little round seal Pokemon. It's delightful. I'm gonna murder it with a Leaf Blade. Um, Ah, oh, you mentioned it above. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Thank you. Um, ah, you got Froakie to start and Charmander for the second starter. Yeah, in X and Y, they give you two starters, which is kind of sick. Um, I want to try to run into a snow run while we're here. It might be it might be a rare encounter. Um, let's see. I'll run into a few Pokemon if we don't if we don't see it. Um, Zubat. Yeah, because it might, it might be like a 5% encounter down here or something. Um, yeah, here's Feel. All right. Um, let's go around and get this other item. If I'm not mistaken, this is... Oops, I gotta go this way. Ooh, oh, yes. Let me do this. There we go. Um, this is where you can get the... TM for hail, which is dope. Um, and I am not able to do this right now. What am I missing? Which way have I not gone? Let me go this way. Down. Ah, there we go. To the side. There it is. <laughs> yes, that is the TM for hail. Um, and that'll just set up the hail weather con uh, weather condition. Um, all right, so we might not be able to find a snow rut while we're here. I don't want to be here forever, but. Believe me, this is the only place in Hoenn where you can find a snow runt. Um, and I believe that we have collected all of the shoal salts um, for low tide here in Shoal Cave. So now we can go back to that guy. I'm actually going to use an escape rope to start with. Um, we can go back to this fella here. If you bring me four of each, I don't know if he'll take the shoal salts, shoal salts yet. Um, are we doing the seventh gym? Do you want to do the seventh gym? I was thinking I would get uh, Piccolo to level 36, and then we would give Tate and Liza a try. Does that sound, does that sound good? Um, and that can be where we end off probably today. Um, so I'll fight this here swimmer, which comes back around the bend. Lovely. Yes, we'll do that. So one or two swimmers, and that should get our Grovile to level 36. Um, so then we can um, evolve into Sceptile. Uh, Flail, that's terrible, actually, because it's a, at low health. Flail does more damage the less health that you have. There we go. Level 36. Sharon has been defeated. And finally... Hmm. Lovely. Yes. Sceptile is one of my favorite starters of all time. I love Sceptile. <laughs> hey, what's up, Carson? And Venus. No way, Venusaur. <laughs> That's funny. Um, oops. Um, I'm going to give Ron this here focus band that we found. And so it can help us prevent fainting sometimes. That's actually really good. Um, so now, like I said, we are going to fight Tate and Liza. Um, 
we're gonna start with Harry and Piccolo. I'm gonna try to really blitz, blitz the old, uh, the old twins there, Tate and Liza. Um, oh, uh, okay, Arena. Please, I am watching Attack on Titan. I just, I have to mention this. I have not watched all of it, so please don't spoil anything. But, love that name. Love that name. <laughs> it is so funny because I have like, I literally have like nightmares of spoiling Attack on Titan because I'm not all the way through with it yet. Um, um, but love that name for your Tarmander. That is amazing. Um, let's see. Uh, where am I going? I'm not going to the right place. <laughs> I need to go to the gym. Um, okay. So now we are going to give Tate and Liza a try. I like starting with those two. Um, gotta make our way back through the puzzle. Let me just do this on speed up really quick. So we can do it quickly. Um... <laughs> did I know in Attack on Titan there's Titans? I did know that, Brody. I did know that. But I appreciate the trepidation. I really do. Um, oh, crap. I did that wrong. Now I'm taking more time. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. Now I gotta do this. And then one more. And there we go. Um, but yes, assume I know nothing. I really... I appreciate your discretion. Um... Someone named your ax you daddy. <laughs> that is horrible. I do hate that. Um, okay, this is good. I am actually going to give the Never Melt Ice to Harry because I want to use Blizzard here at the start um, because that will hit both their Zatu and Claydol for super effective damage. Um, so now we're going in, folks. This is a tough fight. We'll see if we stand a chance. Were you surprised? Were you surprised that there are two gym leaders? We're twins! We don't need to talk because we can determine what the other is thinking. It's like psychic twins. It's a great little concept. Love it. Mm. Great music. All right. So now they start with Claydol and Zatu. They love Spam and Earthquake right from the very beginning. So I know the Zatu probably has like Aerial Ace or some sort of flying move. That is okay, because I want to get rid of the Clay Doll as quick as possible. And if we use Blizzard, that will hit both of them super effectively, like I mentioned. That is also great that that does half. Um, Zatu setting up with Calm Mind is very tough to deal with, so hopefully it doesn't kill us too much. Oh, this is almost where you are in Emerald? Very cool. Um... Okay, good. That works very well to start with. Harry and Piccolo are both very strong. I'm hoping that this can knock out Claydol. That would be ideal. Um, all right. The freeze would have been impeccable. They're probably going to use a full restore here. Um, I'm actually going to use Surf because that stab or a hyper potion. Same diff. Same diff. Oh, you've been leveling up your Mightyena for this gym. That makes sense. Um, it would be nice to have a Dark type. Um, can Harry live this? Probably not with Calm Mind. Yeah, okay. That's all right. That's all right. Um, let's go into James here. Because we have Yawn on James, and we can probably get a Yawn up on the Zatu because we're going to be able to resist that Psychic with James, which I love. Love that the clay doll's gone. That's very helpful. Um, I honestly probably should have started with James because James has Levitate. Um, and we would love to have Melodic for the Soul Rock and Lunatone that they have, even though Piccolo's probably going down right here. Oh, a critical hit. That's terrible. We do have Sing on Blaine. You are absolutely right, Brody. Thank you for reminding me. Um, let's see. I'm going to use Ron to start with here because we can use nice Iron Tails on um, Soul Rock. Let's see. Um, and let's try to yawn the Soul Rock as well. 
I, I really enjoy that both of the Pokemon we have out on the field resist Psychic. Um, I know, rip. Rip, Sceptile. Um, Sorok likes to set up um, Sun because their Sorok, I believe, knows both Flamethrower and Solar Beam, which is tough. That is a brutal miss. Mm, that's a brutal miss. I hate that. I hate that. Um, but as you know... We here are not against using, using potions, man. We will use potions if we need to. Um, but with that Zatu set up, I'm actually going to try to double up on it and see if I can knock it out. Okay, luckily the rock type on Ron makes that neutral. Um, let's see, if this Iron Tail can take it out, that would be ideal. Oh. Guys, that is tough. That is a tough break. Um, I hope they don't have a full restore. I don't think they do. Um, I might use Yawn just in case. Okay, good. Just a Hyper Potion. Because, um, I mean, James is not going to be able to do any damage to these Pokemon anyway, so I'm fine using the Yawn. Okay, that is good. Um, uh, with the defense drop, I'm actually going to switch to Metal Claw. Um, because Metal Claw... Oops, okay. But with the Citrus Berry, I might stick with Iron Tail. Yeah, I'll stick with Iron Tail. Um, and I'll just use Yawn again in case it wakes up. Because, um, again, Chimeco isn't going to be able to do any damage to these Pokemon. But being able to put them to sleep has been ridiculously helpful. I love that. Um... All right, last two Pokemon. Here's the Lunatone. Um, I know Ron is Ron is putting in some work. Um, let's use that Iron Tail here, and we'll yawn the Lunatone. Ah, crap. All right, Ron's probably gone now. All right, that's no biggie. That's no biggie, not yet anyway. Um, all right, here is where we're going to get into some more sleep stuff. Um, all right, that's a tough break to, for Blaine to get a psychic right into it. Um, I'm hoping that we can be faster than Zatu, but I'm not counting on it. Um, I'll use Yawn in case Sing misses. Ah, the Zatu psychic, because the Zatu used Calm Mind. Oh no. Dang it, guys. Um, okay. I have a little bit of a plan. Okay. So we were able to yawn Zatu, and Lunatone is asleep. Um, I'm actually going to protect here, um, because that way Zatu can't attack Guzzle. Ooh, James holds on! Ah, oh, but I just used a double edge. That's so funny. Oh, it's a crit, though! That could be very helpful. Um, all right, we're both asleep. I'm down to Guzzle, but we're both asleep. Um, this could be good. I'm gonna use Flamethrower here, um, because it might not knock it into healing range. That sucks that it woke up. Okay. All right, as we know, I'm not against using potions. I'm really not. Um, a Revival Herb, yes. I'm going to use it on Harry because Harry's got good special defense. Oh, and I gotta send out Harry. Um, Harry's got good special defense. Zatu stays asleep. That's fine. But now we can attack both Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna use Surf. No. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. <sighs> Failure. Failure. It can be a tough thing, kids. It really can. I know. I know. It's very sad. It's very sad. I actually hate losing my money, so I'm actually going to reset. Um... But, uh, there we go. 
Sorry, you see the loaded battery screen there? Ah, well guys, um, I think we're gonna have to try these folks next time. Uh, I'll level up on some some of the some more trainers that we have around. Um, I'll get the squad maybe up to level 38 or so, and then we'll give them another try. But folks, thank you for tuning in here on a Saturday. It's really nice to meet you, Arena. I'm really really glad you were able to stop in and watch this. That that makes my heart happy. Um, and enjoy your run through of like the history of the Pokemon games. Enjoy it. It's lovely. It's so great. Um, I appreciate you stopping in. We're going to call it today. But uh, have a great day. Have a great weekend, everybody. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching um, after the fact. And with that, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out, kids. <laughs>